attacking right now. Death Angel is more like interested in getting back to a, to a good position. And here we go. There is a Bailing Us going down. Now, there is a Roach Warren on this side for uh, Wretch's King. Now, the thing is with Roaches, you need a uh, sustainable economy, which it doesn't really have right now. Roaches are sort of expensive, 25 gas and 75 minerals. But um, they are good against Bailings. Now, the thing is... Uh, if you get um, if you get uh, roaches and he doesn't have bailings but he has a lot of zerglings then those zerglings are going to be really good against your roaches because they will get this round off quite easily and um, you're not going to be in a good position and uh, zerglings that get surround off on roaches are really really good now the thing is the wretches king didn't scout this so I'm pretty sure that um, he doesn't know about the bailing nest no he does not but uh, coincidentally um, it's uh, very good because uh, bailings are going to be coming and roaches do deal well enough with that but the thing is there's also so many zerglings on the field and let's see how death angel will actually uh, handle this now he's trying to put some pressure here and take down whatever zerglings he can and getting a nice round over here and here we go the first roaches are out and more zerglings are coming right now so pretty much death there we go so this round yep nullifying that roach basically he's not going anywhere and he's gonna die thing is this spine crawler is pretty okay right now was um, it was good but still I think that that money would have been much better in making that queen to get additional larva especially since he was ahead in economy now this roach is going to die there we go and another circling gonna go down and the thing is death angel is making a lot of links so all this larva production He's throwing it. He did lo he did lose one overlord though here, and the bailing nest is done right now. So this means that um, Death Angel needs to make something happen with these zerglings. And I wanna I wanna catch your attention to something else as well. He's making these bailing cocoons over here. Now this is something else you you wanna do because bailings are really slow without the uh, with especially without the um, speed upgrade off creep. So he's making them here. He's sending these zerglings in to reinforce. And here we go. We have Rich's King moving in with the um, with his roaches. And I want I want you to look at this. Just look at this really closely. I'm going to back off just a little bit and slow down the replay. And um, actually, going to get to this point again. And try la 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 la. There we go. And the bailings are like done and here we go so look at this you see these zerglings and watch what death angel does and uh, you don't want to fight those zerglings when you have bailings so he does just moves his zerglings back lets the bailings go in there and then moves back in with his uh with his zerglings now you can see that he's keeping his bailings alive because he knows bailings don't do all that much damage to roaches and he has way um, more than enough zerglings to deal with roaches and he's keeping his bailings alive and watch what he does I'm gonna keep it slow for now and there we go one bailing does pop and one one gets uh, thrown into the into the sunken crawler now there's one more bailing alive that is going to make his way all across over here and explodes and weakens all these drones now these zerglings are gonna c corner that queen and now all these drones are on low HP and watch what happens all the zerglings are going to pick off all these drones and here we have some uh, classic ladder game um, raging that happens and uh, if you do ladder a lot then you will meet people like this all the time anyway you guys free to read the chat I'm just gonna talk about the game um, so the thing is right now if you look at the income tab uh, Wretches King has no harvesters he does have 400 minerals uh, but Death Angel has uh, 12 drones and he has um, a queen as well which Wretches King lost. He's making another one, but uh, it's pretty much over for now because um, I'm just going to speed this up a little bit. And um, yeah, there we go. So tum, da, 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 da. there's a lot of Zerglings, and I don't think there's anything that Wretches King can do. A lot of Bailings being morphed right now. Actually, all in, all the money he has is being put into Bailings. And there's some Roaches here, and they're going to try to deal with the Cocoons, but it's not really gonna happen now is it and these bailings are gonna blow up and there we go zerglings taking care of the rest of the roaches and these bailings making their way back into the base now um, 
I want to emphasize just how efficient a lot of Zerglings are against Roaches, especially on Creep, where he did fight over here. Now, um, just wanna so just wanna touch on some things in this game again, and very important things. Um, you need to cancel your fast expansion. If you're a Zerg and you get six pooled, the second you see the Zerglings in, if they're accompanied by drones, cancel. Cancel, 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 cancel. Cancel that expansion and uh, your best bet is to put all your money into Zerglings when your spawning pool finishes. And eventually, maybe, maybe if you have the money, but you're probably not gonna have the money for it, well, you're gonna have to get a queen. So a queen would be really good as well. Now, the thing is, Death Angel did a really good job at repelling the initial push and dealing with that spine crawler, like crawler, like I said, with putting two, uh, uh, four drones, sorry, four drones on that spine crawler to get it down to low HP, so that when the Zerglings hatch, they could take it down quite fast. And also, the best, best thing you can do when a, a rush like that fails, if you have any amount of Zerglings, just send them into your opponent's base and harass his mineral line. Make sure that he's mining as less as possible while you uh, put your economy back together and you get um, you get back on your feet so you can do what you want after that. And there's two options, two really uh, obvious options. It's either roaches or banelings. Now, I tend to prefer banelings because uh, mostly uh, banelings are gonna be really bad for your opponent's economy. If you get two banelings, and two three banelings to blow up in his mineral line it's really bad also banelings really good against enemy zerglings and if you do clean up the zerglings with your banelings then your zerglings will deal with the roaches if he does have any roaches now the most the more um icky situation would be if your opponent is going for banelings as well which basically means that after that it's all going to be down to micro so who micro his micro his force is better his links and banelings better is going to win the game and also his uh, his workers, obviously his economy. So you don't want to lose workers. You want to pretty pretty much the best idea is to try and spread your zerglings apart as much as you can while keeping your bailings in front, so that if your bailings explode, they are if if his bailings explode, they either explode into your bailings or into one stray zergling. So you just want to kind of taunt his bailings like that, and then you can deal with the rest with the remainder remaining uh, zerglings you have and eventual bailings, obviously. Now. This is a really tricky situation, and most people will not know how to deal with this, and they would just panic. So I just decided to make my podcast, uh, this is uh, episode one, so it's how to deal with six pool in this situation. Now, obviously, six pool without the additional drones being thrown up and stuff like that is much easier to, to deal with. I'm just going to say a few things about if you're Terran, if you're Terran, it's not really that that hard to deal with a six pool because your marine will be out pretty soon. If you can just put him behind some SCVs, you're gonna deal with it. But if you're really smart and you scout, which a lot of Terran players will do when facing Zerg, you will have a wall created. Actually, the the second supply depot or whatever it is to complete your wall is going to you'll be able to start building it. So you will be pretty much safe from a six pool. But um, same for Protoss. If you're if you scout early, you get a, you get uh, you get an uh, you get a chrono boosted zealot, and you put him in his in in your choke. You can still pretty much deal with it, but um, I mean you still have to have a pretty early gateway. So it's why you should scout. If you see the spawning pool is already building, then put your gateway down already. Don't wait some more and create the choke at your um, at your entrance. Now. A Zerg is it's a lot more tricky because of that extra spine crawler. It makes such a huge difference because you also have to care about it and it builds pretty fast. So if he moves around with his Zerglings and messes with your head and your drones and stuff like that, that spine crawler is gonna complete. And if it is gonna complete, you're in big trouble. So um the thing is, uh six pool is really an all in pretty much strategy. If it fails, you're in big trouble. Now in this case, the six pool kinda went both ways, both players were pretty much equal. The thing is, even Wretched King even came out ahead a little bit because he had a few more drones. But the thing is, Death Angel put the pressure on, which is exactly what you need to do. So when you do get six pulled, uh, make sure you put the pressure on so you don't have to worry about what comes next. Okay, that's the most important thing. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and this is a pretty much, uh, this is as much of an educational video as you're gonna get on how to deal with six pool. So if you if you like if you're if you're still in the dark or like if you still didn't don't have it down, then just scroll back and watch the video again, or just scroll to the areas where you were interested in, and watch it because it's really something you wanna 
know how to deal with the, but the best the best solution on how to deal with six pool is to scout 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 send an early scout you know you especially if it's on a map like steps of steps of war i don't even need to say that so send a worker out asap and it doesn't matter what race you are you just want to know that it's out of the way you want to know that the the, the the early zerglings aren't coming and if you do see the pool then if you haven't planted any unit production structure then do that asap and if you're one of the races that can wall off as pro us even as um, just block your ramp off with zealots until with pylons i mean till your zealot completes so you won't have to worry about zerglings flooding into your mineral line because it's much better to lose 100 minerals on a pylon then lose all the mining time and eventual casualties from probes that you're gonna get if the zerglings manage to get inside your base so yeah that's it for now and i hope you liked podcast number one so this is gonna be episode one from the exo weekly let's call it like that and uh like i said if people like it and if you have more requests on how to deal with whatever then um maybe even i'm just gonna open up the discussion and say uh send me a replay send me a replay with what you want to uh, know on how to deal with and I'll watch the replay and I'll just do a cast of that replay and I'll find the best uh, replay for whatever and uh, make an episode for that so yeah hope you guys enjoyed it so this has nothing to do with my usual cast that I do for games the really shout casting of uh, high-end games and stuff like that and um, yeah I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time and tune in and I will want to see some comments on my YouTube channel about the podcast so uh, say what you want and I want more input as much input as I can get because it's the first episode so yeah uh, stay tuned for more videos thanks guys